There's no question that Counting Cars is one of the big names in the genre of car flipping TV shows. Since its premiere in 2012, the Las Vegas based Counts Customs has given us many great events to remember. Starting with eye catching auto restorations, the 80 ish biker style of its owner, Danny Coker, and above everything else, its magnetic and hard working crew. While there are many of Counting Cars cast members who are truly memorable, the shop's manager, Kevin Mack, undeniably holds a special place in the audience's hearts for his good-humored attitude and great style. Do you want to know all about Kevin Mack's whereabouts, whether he's still working in Count Customs, and other relevant details about his life? Then, stay with us. Given how unstable the reality TV industry could be, it's not surprising that audiences often worry about the future of their favorite TV stars. Nonetheless, while Counting Cars has taken a slightly prolonged break from air since the show's 10th season wrapped up in December 2021, it's certain that Kevin Mack is still working with the crew. As seen on social media posts from April 2022, Count Customs celebrated Kevin's almost two decades long career with the crew. While Kevin is certainly not very active on Instagram in his recent times, his Twitter and Facebook accounts are currently quite dedicated at not only promoting Count Customs activities, but its siblings' business, Count Vamped Bar, and Danny Coker's band, Count 77, as well, making it evident that the relationship between him and his longtime boss and business partner is as strong as ever. Although it's unclear what Kevin might be doing aside from his professional life, it's relieving to see he's still involved with the show which brought him to stardom. After Counting Cars' 10th season finale aired in late 2021, it's unclear whether or not a following season is in the making. However, regardless of how unclear the show's future is, that isn't enough to stop Count Customs from keeping the business alive. As seen on the shop's social media and website, Danny the Count Coker and his crew of experts keep themselves busy with their car flipping deeds and classic car exhibition, located in their basement in Las Vegas. The year 2022 has also seen them collaborating with Camp Freedom, a charity organization which looks to help veterans, paramedics, firefighters, and other high-risk workers who have experienced trauma. In order to collect funds for this organization, Count Custom staff renovated a 2016 Dodge Challenger, once owned by crew member Horny Mike, which was ultimately auctioned on the nonprofit website Hope I Win. Another of the shop's current projects worth mentioning is the increase in their online content for YouTube and Facebook, added to them teaming up with the racing team Ally Racing. Overall, it seems that Count Customs is doing as well as ever, even without the TV cameras around them. Regardless of knowing each other for many years, Kevin Mack wasn't Count Customs' original shop manager. As seen in the earliest seasons of Counting Cars, that spot was reserved for Scott Jones, the bookkeeper and once right-hand man of Danny Coker. However, Jones didn't stay long in the series, leaving at the end of the second season to resettle in Greenville, Tennessee. While his decision took viewers by surprise, Jones had been teasing his move from the start of the second season. According to an interview with The Greenville Sun in May 2013, Jones mentioned wanting to spend more time with his children. I owe them as a family to spend time with them, he said, revealing his intention to eventually retire to the small town where his wife and children had been living since 2008. I'll spend some more time in Vegas before I get done. I'm 43 now. I'm ready for a slower lifestyle. Although the time to retire came sooner than thought, it's apparent that everything turned out well for Jones, who in 2021, returned to TV with the online series Swap Shop. Unbeknownst to many, Danny Coker and Kevin Mack met each other long before Counts Customs existed. It was during the 1990s when both of them had a great time riding motorcycles in the western US that the men met, and quickly connected due to their shared love for bikes. Kevin saw firsthand how Danny's shop started from scratch, building a business uniquely for the necessity of not spending much time and money fixing their biking mates' rides, as was usual back in the day. Kevin was hired by Danny later in the mid-2000s when Count's Customs was really busy and needed to put a head on the monster, as Kevin told Apex Auto Magazine, to which he also revealed that he'd previously been working in a conventional business for a long time and was burned out by it. Apparently, at the time Kevin joined Count's Customs, Danny's crew was no more than 7 employees, a big difference to these days when the shop employs over 50 staff. As admitted by Kevin, one of the reasons their job relationship turned out is because they respect each other. We get along great, and I understand he's the boss, he said. 
Although Kevin Mack wasn't specifically sued, Counts Customs was involved in a lawsuit and it goes all the way back to June 2013 when Paul and Jeanette Hurt commissioned the restoration of a 1967 Ford Mustang to Counts Customs as a birthday present, paying $50,000 beforehand. The price included the purchase of the car and almost $40,000 in labor from the shop, though the business promised that an extra $20,000 was going to be paid by History Channel in exchange for featuring the build in Counting Cars in December that year. Later in August, the Hertz were told the show was no longer involved with the restoration, but the project would go ahead as planned. That didn't happen though, as in October the couple discovered that a different model was purchased instead of the promised 1967 Ford, which they learned the following year cost thousands more than they initially agreed. Given the repeated failed promises by Count's Customs, the couple requested a refund which apparently never came, leading them to sue the shop. Despite the case quickly making headlines, not much information about its resolution is found, hinting that an out-of-court settlement took place between the parties. Although the Count's Customs crew can proudly say that the business is stable and highly successful, sometimes third-party factors and people have negatively affected the shop and those involved with it. That could be said about Joseph Frontiera, a former Count's Customs employee who made headlines not for his brief appearances in counting cars, but for his apparent ill intentions. It all started in mid-2013 when Frontera was hired by Count's Customs in an office position, but it wasn't long before irregularities were found in the shop's transactions. Suspecting Frontera, the business now checked his background and found that he'd previously committed fraudulent crimes, most recently one he was found guilty of in 2015. According to the $75,000 lawsuit filed by Count's Customs, Frontiero was accused of using the business's funds for personal trades, paying for his Land Rover's expenses and so losing the shop thousands in fines for failing to pay their taxes, as his job position required. On top of that, Frontiero had apparently falsified Danny Coker's and Kevin Mack's professional signatures. The lawsuit also included the company which referred Frontiero to work in the business, though the case was apparently dismissed against both parties, but is unforgettable for being one of the most serious incidents the Counting Cars cast has been involved in. Though Counting Cars didn't premiere until 2012, Danny Coker had already been involved with the entertainment world for some time by then. In the 1990s, Danny gained the Count nickname for parading around as Count Cool Rider, a character for his niche show, Saturday Fright at the Movies, aired on a local Las Vegas TV channel, which at the time belonged to his family. Following the sale of the network, Danny started Count's Customs, and his clientele grew steadily over the years. As Danny grew his business from scratch, the fellow Las Vegas business Gold and Silver Pawn Shop was gaining worldwide fame thanks to the widely popular show Pawn Stars, starring the Harrison family, with whom Danny was already well acquainted for being a bike mate of Rick's brother. Knowing the Count's talent with cars, the Harrisons deemed him as the right addition to the series. Rick Harrison had asked Danny to be his car expert on the show. Danny has an unbelievable knowledge when it comes to cars, as Kevin Mack told Apex Auto Magazine. The good job Danny did in the series and his eccentric personality attracted the attention of history's producers, who a couple of years later gave the green light to Counting Cars. Even though Counts Customs is Danny Coker's most famous and successful business, he'd also invested his money in other fields. The more popular one is definitely Counts Vamped, a bar and grill restaurant originally named Feels Good in its earliest days. However, Danny's former co-investor and Motley Crue's frontman Vince Neil sold his shares in 2011, leaving the venture solely to The Count. The restaurant was revamped and converted into Counts Vamped currently known for its live hard rock and metal shows, including performances by Count 77, fronted by Danny himself. The band was founded in 2012 and its repertoire included original and cover songs, especially those particularly loved by Danny from the 1970s and 80s. It feeds his heart, his soul. Music is a big part of his life. It was a big part growing up, said the also band's manager Kevin Mack in an interview with Apex Auto Magazine in 2017. Danny also owns Count's Tattoo Shop, a parlor which was once a joint venture with Vince Neil. Nowadays, the business is located in the Rio All Suite Hotel and Casino, totally belongs to the Count, and as seen on social media, is quite popular on its own. While having a popular tattoo parlor and bar is probably accomplishing enough, Danny Coker is always looking for new ways to make things exciting in the automotive world. 
One of the most memorable projects that he's been involved in is Coker's Garage, a collaboration between Counts Customs and Ally Racing, a race division by the banking giant Ally Financial. It all started in mid-2022 and prompted talented auto enthusiasts and professionals to create a paint scheme for the Ally 48 Chevrolet. Driven by the professional dragster Alex Bowman, to submit their entries, every contestant was asked to create a maximum of five schemes with their online tool provided in Coker's Garage website. The contest prize of 5600 was 500 in cash, added to travel and accommodation expenses to Las Vegas for two people. The winners were chosen and revealed in October that year by Alex and Danny, who, true to his Count nickname, chose a design with many bats in it. Not only is Danny Coker a talented mechanic and classic car expert, but also an avid car collector. According to HawkCars.com, Danny's current collection has over 55 autos and more than 70 bikes, most of which are classic models, either bought as they are or restored by Count's Customs. Given Danny's massive collection, many of his most memorable wheeled possessions are exhibited at Count's Customs Las Vegas basement, now known as a sort of car museum and tourist attraction in Las Vegas. Besides the exhibition, the business has a prolific merchandise brand available in their shop, Seven Clothing Company, offering clothes, accessories, kitchen utensils, and headwear to fans. While it's unclear if a Counting Cars renewal is in the works following the show's 10th season's finale, in late 2021, the Count's Customs crew has been avidly creating content on their own for their wildly popular YouTube channel. Accumulating over 120,000 subscribers in a matter of a couple of years. This doesn't necessarily mean that Counting Cars has come to an end, but it's definitely great to see Danny, Kevin, and other memorable stars of the show bringing content to their fans in a renovated format. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.